Good Sunday evening, everybody. Glad to have you here. It's uh, love to do these vlogs, but today we're going to be a little different. We're going to talk about how Casey Neistat's ruined sunglasses, or ruined wearing sunglasses. So if you don't know who Casey Neistat is, uh, here's a link to, oh, here, right there. Here's a link to uh, his, his YouTube page, some videos he's done. Um, and if you notice, after you watch a few of them, you see him wearing sunglasses all the time. And it gives a great reason as to why he's wearing the sunglasses. The first part of the answer is, I just like the way glasses look. There's a really pragmatic reason. Okay, you know how when I'm talking to camera, like I'm talking to camera right now, I can always point at things like, hey, look at this screen right here, or check out these lights behind me, or check out this blue lunchbox right here, or this movie poster from the movie I produced right there. The Godfather, it's right here. I'm not looking into the lens, I'm looking into this screen right here. And that way I can frame things up, I know what I'm looking at, but, what I do with my glasses off, I don't look like I'm looking at you. I look over here. So like, imagine if in all my vlogs, I'm looking like this, it starts to feel really weird. And I can look back here and then look over there, try to pretend to look over there. But in the end, it's just like, if I want to point at this, I can either look over here, or I have to look here and just sort of guess. But when I have glasses on, it always looks like I'm looking at camera. Which is great. And it's it's a very smart thing to do. But at the same time, if I wear sunglasses, it's not unique anymore. It's a thing that I'm copying off of Casey. And I'm copying it from what he does. And so for all other YouTubers who want to wear glasses in their videos, once they become popular, they're going to immediately start getting uh, compared to Casey and saying, hey, why are you wearing sunglasses? Because Casey wears sunglasses? Because that's just copying. You shouldn't be copying. You should be, have, be original. It's ruined sunglasses for YouTubers the same way that Sean Nurse is starting to ruin Snapchat for all the other the Snapchatters. And so I guess what I'm really saying is that Casey and people like people creators like Casey and Sean Durst have actually improved YouTube and Snapchat and all these social media platforms. Because what's happening now is that you're having a social media platform where if you're lazy and copy off other people and don't produce original content then uh, people are going to call you out and to become successful you have to create your own content which is very important but it's also very difficult to be original because if you're trying saying okay I'm going to wear these sunglasses because it's freaking bright outside and I want my eyes to be caught in the glare because to get good lighting on my face I need to look back into the sun you're going to be called out as being a copier and that's, that's a good and bad thing. It's good because uh, YouTube is keeping creators original, but at the same time, it's kind of, has, it has a potential to hurt new creators and to push new creators out. And, and as a new creator on YouTube, it's hard to continually to be rethinking and processing what you're seeing on YouTube to make sure that you're not just recreating other people's creations. And if you're good at that, if you're good at being a new creator, then you'll see those new things and you'll you'll say, okay, this is what people are doing. I'm, I, I'm not gonna recreate that, I'm not gonna copy that, but I'm gonna create something new and different that I think will be successful in this YouTube or social media realm. And ultimately, that means needing to do two things. Stay original, which is an obvious thing, but two, it's gonna be work hard. And that's one thing that if you've ever watched Casey Neistat's videos, you know he does better, I'm probably better than anybody else, and that's work hard and, and to, just to be successful, to be successful at what he's doing. So I guess what I'm really doing is thanking creators like Casey and Fun for Louie and Ben Brown and just all of the creators out there that are being original because it's keeping YouTube fresh, it's keeping YouTube interesting, and it's keeping it harder to rise to the top. All right, let's quick move around and just finish this talk out. Because rising to the top of t typically any industry, you're going to put in work and effort and time and people you know, and it just you'll bust your butt to get there. And YouTube and all these social media platforms need to be that same way. It needs to reward original content creators for being original, for being entertaining, and for continuing to be creative. Because if anybody can make it hot, big in YouTube, then it's not worth making it big in YouTube. Now, does well, I think anybody will ever see this video, uh, probably 50 people. Because I have about 50 followers, I know 60 followers, who I love 
who I'm glad support me and follow me, but these larger, these huge YouTubers bust their butts. And if I ever wanted to get one of those big YouTubers, that's one thing that I have to completely change about these vlogs is, I think I've got the original part better. Now, I don't know if it's like the thing where if you eat your own cooking, you don't like it. And so I don't like my own vlogs because I, I just, they just don't taste good or I know that at the back of my mind, I could have put more effort into them and that may be it. But at the end of the day, if I'm ever wanting to do big in YouTube or make it in anything other than teaching, I'm going to have to att attack that whatever it is with a hundred percent I can't limp into it it can't be like okay I'm gonna add do a few videos here and then they're gonna be okay or I'm gonna put some crappy video out that day because I just don't won't feel like doing the effort and I, I honestly think and know that some of those my previous videos have been that way where they've been I'm just gonna put them out there because I've said I'm gonna do it and I'm just, I think I need to keep them out there and not put the effort into making them look good so my vow and I don't know if this will even take off at all is to start putting not Casey Neistat effort into him because I don't have that kind of motivation. I, that's a tip of, that's a top 1% type person motivation wise. And that's awesome. I'm not that kind of person. Um, but I'm going to start putting more effort into these vlogs, making them to where they're more entertaining. And at the same time, when I say they're going to be more entertaining, I hope, I hope that they don't look, start looking at other people's vlogs. Because I will do them and I will watch them and if they start to look like Casey's or Sean Dura's or any of the people that I watch, then I'm going to have to rethink this model. Because I'm going to start trying to recreate things that I see, but I need to just go with my original original thought. Um, if you don't know who Sean Dura's or uh, Casey and I said are or any of the people that I mentioned, I'll put their links below. I'll also put a lot of other links to vloggers or daily uh, YouTubers that I really like watching and I, I don't subscribe to a ton because I don't feel like if I can't watch it every single one of their vlogs every day then I'm, I'm then why, why would I subscribe to them if it's not something I want to watch every day I'm not gonna subscribe to it so I, I think I have maybe six or seven daily vloggers that I watch and I do good mythical morning and some fun house and other stuff but um we're gonna try to start making videos that are better content better edited better put together more effort on my part um, starting today with this one hopefully until the point where I just sat down and talked it looked good a um, little more moving around we can adjust sound and then tomorrow Labor Day we will start good start fresh and start hard so I will see you and if you can't tell by the end of all this stuff Casey and that's that ruining Shonda's ruining all those things in the title tongue-in-cheek they are making their social media platforms that they are on amazing they're killing it and I tell you what Sean Duris is blowing up lately on YouTube like I when I started what following he baby based around 500 sub 500,000 subs and I think he's up to three quarters of a million now getting close to it if not already past it and I, I haven't checked it and I haven't checked it when I did this vlog so he's getting up there he's blowing up on YouTube which is awesome because I love watching his vlogs he's a fun vlogger all right well, we will see y'all tomorrow Labor Day good vlog we're gonna have some good content I'm gonna try harder so we will see you tomorrow. Love you. Rock on.